Welcome back for episode 13, as we continue to uncover the mystery of the relationship between Maurice Sam and Sonia Uche. In episode 12, we discussed Sonia's solo Bimini day trip, and how in an attempt to disguise her companion, the quality of her content was compromised. This video is filled with juicy details and eye-popping reveals, especially at the end of the video, so stay tuned. We propose that after Ajoma's wedding, our favorite couple took some much-needed time out for themselves. A two to three day trip to Cancun, Mexico, followed by leisure days in Florida, then a four-night grand finale cruise trip on Virgin Voyages Cruise Lines. Let's examine the vacation in this episode, as we journey with them to Mexico. As Sonia said, they visited the ex carrot all-inclusive resort. In this video, Sonia seemed much more relaxed. So much so, that she made several references to we, when talking about the tours and activities. However, in her previous video, which also had her around people, no such reference to we was made. We also noted with interest, that on this trip, there was someone filming her for the entire day and into the night. Yet in the evening, when the host asked how many were dining, listen to what she said. Hey guys, it's food time. Hola. Hola. How many you are? Just three. Okay, mama, please. Yeah. Shortly after saying this, she made reference to our food. Another occasion which highlighted that she wasn't alone was when the tour guide spoke with them. You're gonna be fine. And actually, you are with us, the Russian guys like me, you have like a, this purple bracelet, then the party yeah. have different ones. So for you, it's gonna be the purple one. So we are the only guys with the purple bracelets. So they will let you know, we call it like a tour guys, kind of. All that guys come with any, uh, any guy, and we're gonna see. So they're gonna, that's gonna be easy. They're gonna explain about tennis or water shoes, in only two attractions. The ropes course, could be one. you can do barefoot with sandals, okay? If you listen keenly, you will also hear the short male responses. You'll also notice that the tour guide addresses him more often than he addresses her and has to look up when talking to him to facilitate his greater height. During the water walk in the cave at dark, Sonia was clearly afraid. She kept looking anxiously behind her, towards the camera holder. She continued to look behind her for comfort, even when there were others around her. Let's see the video clip. I won't lie, I was I was really scared at some point in this cave, especially with this water. But uh, I'm moving at least. Oh. 
We noted that every time she looked around, the person holding the camera came closer to her. You may also notice that he communicated with her by whistling. What other observations did you make? Please feel free to share. We love a good puzzle here in our comments section. Next on their itinerary was Florida, while waiting for their cruise. For those who have been on cruises or understand the nature of cruises, they will know that people don't normally do solo cruises, especially on an adult-only cruise. There are times when cruise lines might promote singles cruises, but generally cruises cater to couples and groups. So, are we still buying Sonia's solo vacation? Sonia didn't put this in her video, but she did post this taxi ride to the Virgin shipping dock. And what did we see on this ride? Let's examine this short clip. Was it our imagination or did we just happen to get a glimpse of a companion? Someone so very familiar. We would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on this. Sonia did maintain her solo stance on the cruise. Here are some clips from the cruise. that Sonia enjoyed her vacation activities. This vacation was a long time coming and is well deserved. They are both extremely hard working. So, let's summarize Sonia's cruise aboard the Virgin Voyage Fire and Sunset Soiree Tour, which was a four-night round trip, sailing from Miami, day one, Key West, day two, sailing at sea, day three, Beach Club Bimini, day four, and finally back to Miami Port day five. The voyage took place from October 4th to 8th. And we are here to share that we know with absolute certainty that Sonia had a male companion and therefore did not travel alone. It also goes without saying that entertainers such as musicians and actors use their real names as opposed to their stage names in the case of international travel. We wanted our fellow supporters of Maurice and Sonia to not agonize over the status of their relationship as these two are very much in love and living their best life. We also took the decision not to showcase any other so-called relationships associated with Maurice, as we know there is nothing worth mentioning. We know for sure that Maurice and Sonia are married. We look forward to hearing from you. Should we have missed anything that you two might have identified? Please remember to like, comment, and share our videos. Also, subscribe to our channel, Maurice Sam TV and Sonia Uche TV.